We are also coming towards the eleventh anniversary of uh, Pairavi consecration. Ideal time. Oh. See, this is what I was afraid of. I told you, at the time of consecration, I fear this, that slowly you guys will become fans of Bhairavi because she's a kind of a star and you'll start ignoring Shiva. I said, Shiva, you said nothing <laughs> Bhairavi, ooh! This is what I expressed eleven years ago. <laughs> I fear she will become more popular because uh, there is a little give and take with her. With him, no give, no take. Because you still have a mind which questions anything that you do, what is the use? First thing you must ask the question, what is the use of you being alive? What is the use of you being born? So all you will come to with the silly logic of the mind is no use to be or not to be. So, for a logical mind, in many ways, Bhairavi is more appealing because there is a little transaction. So this is eleventh here and you know her uh, phone number is eleven. Hello? And this is the eleventh year where the we are opening up certain possibilities of sadhana. Till now, uh, Devi sadhana or Bhairavi sadhana was available only for women. This year they are losing that privilege. <laughs> Men also are getting into Devi sadhana <laughs> This is popular. What is the significance of the feminine as a dimension? Well, uh, you were given birth by a feminine entity. Because the initial transactions were very sweet, she was like a goddess, your mother I'm talking about. But later on transactions got little. So, she came down from the status of being goddess to just another human being, nice, loving maybe, but just another human being. So what is the significance of this worship of the feminine? One important thing that you need to understand is, feminine is not a gender, it is a dimension. If I utter the word feminine, you are thinking of a gender. No, it is not a gender, it is a certain dimension of life. The significance of this dimension is, it's easier to get response from this dimension, then the other dimension that we consider as masculine because it is designed in a different way. It's not about which is better than which, there's no such thing. It's just different. So feminine is a dimension, not a gender. There are uh, fantastic examples. Me also, a living example of that but I don't like to put myself in that direction because of all these Bhairavi fans who are here, they'll all go berserk. <laughs> One more recent example is Ramanujam. All of you have heard of him, a mathematician. There was also a movie about him a few years ago of how Ramanujam poured out mathematics. 
very complex mathematical formulae. To a point where in early twentieth century when there was no concept of black holes, he kind of created mathematics describing black holes. When people asked him, where is this coming from? Simply notebooks and notebooks of math he just poured out. Sitting on his deathbed, he died very early unfortunately. He said, my Devi, my goddess bleeds mathematics. One who attains to the grace of the Devi, whatever you're doing in your life, you may be a business person, you may be a professional in something, you may be an artist, a musician, a yogi, whatever you are, if you want to pitch up your activity to another dimension of, you know, doing things, you need Devi's grace. One who is touched by this grace will naturally rise in ways that other people will think is miraculous. This has happened to many people, I must tell you this. There have been significant men in the world, I don't want to name them now because it is politically sensitive. Significant men, just look up history, in the last two centuries, who were nurtured by their mothers and uh, in some way in their perception, the mother remained like a goddess, she did not come down to become a loving mother. She remained a goddess, goddess being hard on the child. Many men are there in the world in the last two centuries who have risen to great heights in whatever they were doing because in some way they were in feminine worship. Because articulation and when I say articulation, not just verbal articulation, articulation essentially means you're able to find expression. If you want to find expression in the world, you need Devi's grace. Whether you do it by chanting a mantra, whether you do it by going to a temple, or whether you do it by acknowledging that dimension within yourself, or whether you do it by looking up to something that is feminine, or simply by being in nature. It doesn't matter how you do it, but that dimension that we refer to as feminine, when it yields to you, your articulation or your expression in the world will find tremendous enhancement. This is the eleventh year, this is why we are opening this up for men also, the Bhairavi Sadhana.